Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Tam. Today, we're going to have a look at a patient of mine comparing his hairline five years ago and now. This patient suffered from male pattern hair loss, affecting both his temple area. His goal was to restore his hairline and not to look so receded. This is actually quite common and quite understandable because a good hairline matters to him. But he was declined treatment elsewhere because of his age. He was in his 20s and was told to wait until in his 30s before he should consider hair transplant treatment. When I saw him, he was in his 20s. He's been on minoxidil for a while to stabilize his hair loss. We knew maintaining on a medication is not going to achieve the type of result that he was looking for. So we decided to proceed with a hair transplant treatment with the understanding future hair loss might affect the overall results and medications is going to play an important role in his treatment. We wanted to achieve his goal with the minimal amount of work possible, preserving his donor area for future use. We decided to work on just the temples area. His central airline was of good coverage and we don't feel there is sufficient space we can work in the area safely. What we achieve is a much stricter hairline and less receded look. I treated the area with approximately 800 grafts, which is a really small number, back in 2015. After his first treatment, you can see we have achieved a really good visual improvement already. He continued on anti-hair loss medications, minoxidil and finasteride, together with some PRP treatments. For many patients, that's good enough. For me and my patient, we feel that we could make it even better. We revisit the donor area, it's still in good shape, with minimal donor signs. And I felt confident that we can further improve the density at the hairline. So we went ahead and planned for a second hair transplant treatment with approximately a thousand grafts. A significant amount of them are single hair follicles. So we can place in between his existing hair. To achieve this degree of density is remarkable. It really is ultra high density. Achieve over two treatments. We're able to build on his first hair transplant treatment and have the confidence that these anti-hair loss medications and treatments are effective and that he can continue on over the course of five years. Two hair transplant treatment with anti-hair loss medication and non-surgical treatments. He has now got a great hairline. He's achieved his goal in restoring his hairline and not to look receded. I'm glad that we start looking after his hair in his 20s. He's now in his 30s and it looks great. If this is similar to what you're looking to achieve and if you feel you can commit it to what it involves to look good, please get in touch. Thank you for watching. I am Dr. Mark Tam. Thank you.